Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. Will it be big on stature? Hey guys, it's the Comic Relief Crusader here with an interesting theory, I suppose you could call it, of mine, about Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, which is going to be released on February 17th, coming up very soon. For those of you that are basically in the know about what the film is going to be about, it's basically when Scott Lang and Hope Van Dyne, uh, along with Hope's parents Hank Pym, and Janet Van Dyne and Scott's daughter Cassie uh, accidentally are sent back obviously to the quantum realm where they basically end up exploring the realm and of course encountering Kang the Conqueror the master of time himself so uh, it appears that the movie is going to be running at about two hours five minutes and um, I have a little interesting theory about this movie. Now, Ant-Man and uh, the Wasp Quantumania has given audiences basically their first look at the new superhero Stature. Now, who is Stature? Well, the mantle is kept up by Scott Lang, Ant-Man's daughter, Cassie Lang, as you know who's going to appear in the film. Prior to her role, uh, in the first movie, in MCU's Season 5, basically, Cassie Lang first appeared as a child in the Ant-Man movie. Well, since then, obviously, she has become a teenager. And, um, well, since Endgame, it appears that she's going to become the next superhero in this movie. They're sucked back to the quantum realm. Uh, essentially with no way of escaping. Uh, you know, and of course along the way, the team encounter all sorts of threats, including Kang the Conqueror, the uh, villain of the MCU's multiverse saga of sorts. Uh, Cassie isn't really the one to just sit on the sidelines, so it seems. And in Ant-Man 3, uh, in the trailers, You'll now are seeing a more young adult Cassie Lang in her own purple Pym Particle powered suit. Try to say that five times fast. And it looks very similar to Scott and Hope's. It appears that she's going to be a major character in this movie. So here's what I think is going to happen. Because Scott is given an ultimatum in the current movie trailers, as you can see. Some sort of deal about Scott losing a lot of lost time with Cassie as she was younger and, as you can recall from the first movie, in jail. And not really been around much to see her grow up. And especially with the blip that happened around Endgame, lost another five years on top of that as he was stuck in the quantum realm where time seems to move differently somehow. This would seem to be the deal that Kang the Conqueror gives Scott. That lost time that he missed out with Cassie. Now of course even though through a lot of trials and tribulations that Scott has gone through it would seem that he jumps at the deal because he loves his daughter very very much. Well, um, it seems like whatever plan this may turn out to be, Kang betrays him. And it would also seem like there's a big epic fight that's going to be happening in this movie. My theory is, and hopefully you're hearing this first before anybody else on any other channel, with the current state of the MCU and the replacing of figures, it would stand to reason that Scott is going to be killed off and Stature, who in the Marvel comics essentially has the same powers as Scott Lang, is going to be the new Ant-Man, who goes by the name of Stature. Now, of course, 
hopefully I'm horribly wrong because I do very much enjoy Paul Rudd's rendition of the character. Funny, witty, the goofy jokes and all that. I enjoy his acting as Ant-Man. And hopefully I'm wrong. But the way the current phase of this Marvel Universe is going, I'm not exactly going to hold my breath. Paul Rudd, if this happens to be your last MCU movie as Ant-Man, thank you for all the entertaining movies, and we'll see what happens next on February 17th. Anyway, this is the Comic Relief Crusader. Hit the like button, leave a comment, and share among everyone out there. I'll talk to you guys soon. Hello, this is the Comic Relief Crusader, and guess what? I got a store! <laughs> That's right, now you can spend all your money on scale posters, fine art done by the Comic Relief Crusader himself, and t-shirts! That's right, we now have t-shirts! So, come spend your money at this kind of location. That's right. You know you want it. Come spend it. This is the Comic Relief Crusader. Money!